Hi, what's up guys? How are you doing? And today we're going to talk about getters and setters. So if you want to create getters and setters for your project and you're a little bit confused, don't worry because I'm going to show you how and we are going to walk through this journey and I'm going to show you uh, the common mistakes and why you really need getters and setters. If you're new here, please welcome and I do tutorials like this and if you find them motivating, if you find them helpful, please consider to subscribe to my channel so that you can see videos like this from me. I created a project with the main class and main method. So the main method is where our application will run from. Okay. So what is a getter or a setter? So in Java, getters and setters are two conventional methods that are used to retrieve or update a value of a variable. So basically, getters and setters help us to get and set attributes of objects. So you can think of objects as real life objects, such as employees, a car, a computer, while the variables are attributes that this particular object can do. Take for example, an employee with name and department. You don't want another person to change the employee name or change the department without their permissions. So this is the main reason that we need uh, getters and setters but we are going to dive into that so let's go ahead and create a new method sorry a new class called employee and then create a variable let's call this variable name okay an employee has got name and an employee can belong to a department okay and an employee can have an age. If we create a method here, um, say set employee, a return void. So we can say age equals to 20. But assuming we want to access our the employee age outside of this class, then um, we'll have to create, we'll have to instantiate employee equals to new employee. Okay. So when you try to set the employee attributes directly, say age, this should draw an error since we've declared age as private. So let's say, um, for example, we had public in all of these in all of these variables public so we can set employee equals to 20 employee dot name equals to John for example then um, employee dot department equals to engineering okay so if, if we want to create the second employee and the third employee and the fourth employee, then we'll have to repeat this. This can be a little bit messy because there are a lot of values which we are assigning them directly and uh, sometime we want to restrict, say, age and all that. We need methods to do the assignment for us. So instead of assigning the, the attributes directly like this, we need to have methods on this class employee and set the variables for us. So we are going to create um, the setters public void set name. So this is the conventional way of doing it. So you start with lowercase and then uppercase it follows the Java conventional way of creating bins and we have to pass the name here name and then say name equals to name okay 
but we, we can see it's underlined. So our application is kind of confused. Are you assigning the variable that you're passing to the name or are you assigning the name of the employee to the variable that you're passing? So to make sure that we are specifying this, this variable, we can say this dot name equals to name to show that this is the name uh, this is the variable that we are passing and name is the name of our class employee okay so from this side we can now actually assign by calling the method set name which is public on this side and now we can set our, our variable to be private okay and now we can set uh, John so on this side we need to set this to private and private now we can remove that and now you can you can set all the variables from any other class without directly uh, calling the variables so let's go ahead and create our setters and getters but I'm gonna show you a shortcut instead of uh, writing all these methods uh, from scratch you can just right click go to generate and then click getters and setters and you can highlight all the variables that you want to have them with the methods getters and setters and then click OK and it populates it for you and on this side or on any other method um, we can actually set the edge and we can set the department engineering okay so let's try to test this out um, and then here we want to return employee um, let's say employee name let's run this and there we go uh, we get John as the output okay so this is a cool way to interact with these variables from another class but you might ask yourself why do we really need getters and setters is it really important so i'm gonna show you one way um, which you can use setters for your advantage so assuming the employees of this certain company must be 18 years and above so you cannot register an employee who is under 18 okay um, let me just change this to public public age if I say employee dot age I can set it to whatever I want let's say 14 but for this company um, you shouldn't set the employee age to less than 18 years so when we run this let's try to output age so we get 14 but there should be a restriction that we cannot put age of 14 so on the setup we can put a restriction so first we check if the age is less than 18 okay and then if it's less than 18 we want to throw an exception okay legal argument exception but if i run this it is still displays 14 which is wrong it shouldn't be working this way it should tell us well the employee is 14 years of age and he or she shouldn't be allowed in this company okay let's go to this and change it to private so we cannot access this part all right and then try to set the age of 14 over here run it again it should throw an error okay so this is one way that you can use setter to manipulate your results because you don't want anyone changing the age or uh, you don't want anyone registering this particular employee or employees with age of uh, less than 18 years so next i'm going to show you how you can have a variable of another object say employees in real life use some tools as an employee you're going to use computer the mouse and a pen so we want to have all this in one object and i've created an object called work tool so work tool can have work tool name and other attributes and then from 
the employee side you want to add the work tools so since the work tool is more than one then we want to create a list of work tools and then call it work tools equals to new array list okay we want to initialize it from the word go or instead of initializing it here if you have a constructor then you can initialize it in your constructor okay so for the work tools now we want to be able to access them here so what do you do we create getters and setters so the same way right click go to generate uh, getters and setters click ok and from this side we can actually say employee.set work tools and then create a list here of work tools okay so before we set them let's go ahead and create a list a new list of work tool work tool list okay and then work tool uh, let's call it work tool one we want to set work tool one name uh, now to computer and we can actually do this for another work tool say mouse and we call this work tool two and now we have work tool one and work tool two we want to add work tool one and work tool two to our list add work tool let's duplicate that Control d or command d and now since we have some stuff on on work tool list now we can add it to employee okay and here we can try to display uh, one of the work tools so get work tools dot uh, get let's say the first work tool and then get the name try to run that oh uh, it's throwing an error because of 14 let's change that to 19 run again and we should get a mouse we should actually change this to uh, work tool 2 run it again we should get a computer and there you go so these are an easier way to access even variables from another object you can actually get or set other variables from other uh, objects such as work tool so thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have any issues leave a comment let me know if you want me to improve also let me know and see you next time thank you